Paul Smith here, outdoors editor for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel and JS Online. We're ice fishing today uh, near Bayfield in, uh, on Lake Superior and we've joined Jim Hudson of Bayfield. We're fishing for trout species. Uh, we've got some tip-ups set up and we're jigging uh, and uh, hopefully we're going to come into some brown trout here today. It's a beautiful uh, winter morning in February, about 28 degrees sunny so uh, we'll see what kind of action we can get today. So today we're out on Lake Superior fishing uh, nearshore trout species and what I mean by nearshore trout I mean like browns, steelhead, splake and then we also have some salmon species like coho and uh, king salmon. And uh, one of the things that we do um, with our jigging techniques is we actually set uh, dead, dead stick techniques and one of the best dead stick techniques out there besides a tip up is something we call an automatic fisherman. It's basically a base and a rod and this acts as your tip up. I, I use a little, quite a bit of split shot because we're dealing with current here. So we got to get that down in the bottom. We're fishing about 30 feet. And all I do is I just watch my Vexlar to set this. I bring it down to the bottom and I'm going to set it about five to six feet off the bottom. These trout are cruising around on these flats that we're fishing and uh, when they come in, they're always looking up. So I always want that bait above the bottoms. Got our first uh, fish of the day. That's a little ball. Yeah. Here and, uh, just came on the screen. Jim saw it on the flasher and uh, bumped it once, and then <laughs> then we uh, then we latched onto it. So uh, nice little start to the day. What we're using here is a uh, jigging spoon, and we're we're putting a couple pieces of minnow on it, and uh, just keep our minnows in a little bait container or minnow bucket. electronics to uh, see if a fish comes in and then slightly raise it normally these fish this coho was really aggressive it just came in and, and smacked it so uh, if we don't get action in one hole we'll move we'll drill a bunch of holes and we're, we're on a flat so uh, we'll keep covering ground until we find more active fish So one thing you got to really pay attention to on Lake Superior is changing ice conditions. And as you can see here, we run into a crack. We're always, you know, checking the ice as we go. We got to find another way to get around this crack and uh, and uh, get home safely. Well, Jim, we had a, a morning here on uh, right off of Bayfield jigging and uh, with some set lines and uh, we managed to catch a coho we had a few other fish come through but it was a little slow yeah yeah very slow day uh, you know but that happens with trout a lot we had uh, a lot of action last night on burbot perch we caught some smelt uh, and coho also inland and this area is known for a wide variety of species yeah yeah that's one cool thing you know we're way up here by Bayfield today but like yesterday we we're down by Ashland so you can fish anywhere in between there right now and catch a you know wide variety of species that's what's awesome about Shawamigan Bay and the Apostle Islands we've had some beautiful scenery we're sitting off of Basswood Island right now bald eagles have been flying over and uh, every time you come up to Shawamigan Bay area here in Lake Superior you're treated to that natural beauty. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a pleasure having this in my backyard, and that's one of the things is uh, trip out here is it's not only about catching fish, but it's also about enjoying what you have here, you know, in northern Wisconsin. Thanks for having us. Yeah, a great day, and uh, thanks for joining us on JS Online. I'm Paul Smith, outdoors editor. We'll see you next time on the trail.